Hi. Let's talk about grinding precision angle. And what's your option? So let's say your bus is bringing you this part and you need to nail that angle better than let's say a minute. You're like, screw that. Mm -hmm. And you're taking your really nice, perfectly made 100 millimeter sign bar, perfectly parallel to the roller, two roller, exact same diameter. Distance is perfectly made into a micron, 100 millimeter. It's parallel, everything's perfect. So, what will I do? I'll make your little math according to the angle you want to grind. Put your crow blocks, stare at AAA ceramic gauge block. So you have perfect dimension nylon there. Put your little part on it and think that's kind of a shaky setup for my grinder. So, what are you going to do with? You take your part and you take your nice square block from solid rock machining. It's perfect. You put a little shim under it, put it on your marble, take your part on the angle you want, put it on the marble without the shim, clamp it, spin it, it's clamped together, put it on your mag chuck, buzz it, boop boop, just to clean it. No middle mark, no scale, just perfect good grinding reference. You can do that on both sides. Then I'll clamp it. Put your sign bar in with your gauge block, trusty gauge block. Take your measurement there, say you're off 15 micron. Well, no big deal. Put that back on your marble, clamp it, indicate it zero. 15 microns, put on the grinder, rebuzz it, put it back on the side plate, indicated the side parallel to the marble, zero, everything's perfect. Well, not that perfect. You bring your part to the CMM guy, trusty CMM guy. And he told you, well, your angle is off a minute, 50 seconds, two minutes. And you're like, what is happening? My gauge looks perfect, sin bar's perfect. Don't understand? Must be that CMM guy doesn't work properly. Well, sign bar the accurate device in a certain range of motion and this is part of the function of the distance of the opposite side of your sign angle and I can show it to you so here we go has your sign bar is passing 45 degree like this you can notice that this isn't like a linear function it's not like uh, your eye didn't one millimeter and you're getting one ang one minute or one degree it doesn't work like that because let's say you're taking your first angle here and you're passing from 0 
to 10 degree this illustrate the distance of the gauge block you need from passing from 0 to 10 let's say you hop here that's at 60 degree and you want to pass at 70 degree here still a difference on only 10 degree but the distance it's a lot shallower and I can tell you for 100 millimeter here the difference between this and this it's 10 millimeter basically 5 degree and this is why because as you go up it's get shallower and shallower and shallower until you get like pretty much too flat here and you're losing a lot of resolution and it's getting worse at 45 degree so as a principle on a sin bar you should never pass 45 degree and wishing you got accurate angle At, the, at this point, at 10 degrees, 1 micron on this height difference is going to result to 2 seconds of error. Here, at 70 degrees, 1 micron of mistake, it's 15 seconds. So, you can imagine with that lost in resolution here and that possible second error added to that you can really relate on the precision of your angle passing that point so what can you do well you can add up if you need 80 degree you can add up your 10 degree here putting your gauge block on 90 degree and getting your part right here in this case you have the complementary angle instead that the full and you gain a little bit of resolution after that you get another principle that work in the more table and they use a, a sign bar with two roller like this and what that's creating is as you go steep and steeper well your gauge block like this they are mount that way and this is making two right angle triangle and actually if you say you have a 60 degree well you end up with two 30 degree right angle triangle so you're doubling the precision of your angle mounting that that still as you go farther and farther, you're losing still resolution. Not very interesting. But if you're in a shop that the only way to measure accurate angle is with a sin bar, I recommend that setup or the angle setup. And at last, just uh, food for top. Would it be nice to have a signed bar with a close relationship between the amount of the height of the gauge block you put it and the angle? Turns out that a 57.3 millimeter gauge block gives you a relationship of like one millimeter, give you one degree of angle. And as I explained, as far as you go, uh, less precise you get it and 
uh, if you stay under 2.5 degree of motion you're under a minute of accuracy which is pretty good actually and how that could be used well if you have uh, angle gauge block let's say 60 degree and you have to trim your machine at 61 degree well it's very easy you put one millimeter gauge block there and you know you'll be good and you can tram it perfect and it will be 61 degree or if you have a, a dividing plate with hole let's say 72 division and you want to go between those uh, 5 degree division well 2.5 plus or minus give you 5 degree of motion and you can adjust that with the micrometer screw and that will be exactly direct reading from for one micron you'll get 0 0.001 degree of correction so it can be very interesting well wish I didn't bore you to death thanks for watching